<laughs> Welcome to Roverland. How the honk are you? This is your friend Dano, and have I got a one on Wednesday for you? Yes, sirree. Um, well, um, you maybe you're talking about Vuja Day, or no, no, Deja Vu. Because uh, we did a one up Wednesday on this before, and uh, we'll tag it at the end again. But um, it's a common theme. No, <laughs> there's an interesting reason why we're taking a look at this model again, is because we have this model now. Yes, sir, check this out. This is crazy. Um, Oh yeah, there it is. I thought I had it. Lions of Longlet. Okay, well we're going to talk about this. So I just got this uh, from uh, Gary uh, Betcher, Adam Betcher's friend. If you uh, remember, we have some unboxing videos, and we had and will have some unboxing videos from those guys. And uh, so what we had, I, I got this from him, and I thought I had this. I thought I had this model and it just rang a bell with me, this whole paint scheme and everything. And, um, and I know why it rang a bell with me, but this was the model I had. And so when I got this out of the box, uh, from my trip back and, um, you know, I'm like, Oh, okay. But then when I went over to the special cabinet, I have a special carry cabinet that houses these plastic models. As you guys know, I am just uh, crazy about plastic um, Land Rover toys. Uh, they, they just are so hard to come by in the fact that they're, you know, disposable. They're not meant like a Hot Wheels or a, and a Matchbox. Those could last for hundreds of years, you know, because they're plastic and metal, and they will last for hundreds of years. You know, you put them in a, in a, in a, in a uh, I don't know, a bucket of something, and, it'll, <laughs> and they will last. I mean, they will corrode and stuff, but they'll last. Where this stuff is just not as hardy, you know. And um, anyway, so I, I just grabbed it anyway. Uh, and uh, I got home and so now I have two of them and that is just totally awesome so in the uh, video I did on this one it was an unboxing uh, uh, unboxing uh, one of Wednesday and uh, I did not know much about it so I did a little bit of research on the Jim Sun uh, made in Hong Kong number 114 and what I found was that there are actually three of these models that exist. Uh, I'm not really sure which one came out first or what and what, it, what. but anyway, um, this one here uh, was the first one I got and I, I believe I got this off of eBay. Yeah, it was uh, buy it now, I believe the story was and uh, I just went ahead and bought it and it, it was pretty good price, you know, I mean, it wasn't outrageous. But anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. So the, the story is that I uh, did a little Googling and researching and uh, come to find out that this model, this tan, this off-white model is complete. This is the way they would have sold it. It would have had a, a antenna that run, but in a as far as I know, they didn't plug that hole. I, I could be wrong on that. If you know for sure on this tan model, um, let me know. But this virtually was what it, how it came. Now, this other model um, is missing parts. Uh, one of the parts that it is missing is a chrome horn, just a single uh, beluga type horn that uh, uh, fits on there. And it has a yellow roll bar cage, uh, like four bars uh, that go across the top here, yellow. It's plastic, but it would be, but it goes a little bit above the uh, top here. And uh, it, it cages, I believe, a, a lion figure. Now this is from the, the Lions of 
uh, Longlet, and I think that's kind of how you pr pronounce it. But uh, yes, these these come from the 70s, uh, late 60s, early 70s, mid 70s, something like that. And uh, so that's the time era that these come. And this, uh, it's a park. It was like a drive-through park. And um, that uh, this alliance of, of Longlet. And why this rang a bell was, is this is a copy of uh, a representation of the Corgi one. And I'm not really sure, I can't remember what, what Corgi it is, uh, 464 or whatever, but Corgi had done a smaller version, of course in metal, you know, and and uh, that's why this rang a bell, because they're just the same. White with zebra stripes, a red top, and the yellow on the top, and had these uh, uh, stickers. Now this one would have had a sticker on this side, and I believe on the hood also. And uh, so that's why it rang a bell with me when I saw it. Uh, I just couldn't place um, exactly uh, what it was. I thought it was, I had it already, but I had it in this uh, Manila uh, off-white one. So you're asking, well, what one are you missing? Well, wouldn't you know it, the ever popular army one yes so it's green and um boy i can't remember i think the top is a different color uh i don't know if it has anything on here a spotlight or anything the picture that i saw from point worth points or whatever but it's green and then has blotches on it of uh, manila but it has a um enclosed tilt to it now the tilt looks more like, and that's a little bit higher than the roof, the tilt is, and it looks like that tilt um, is hard top, but it does kind of have like a swoop, like there would be a hoop in the middle and it kind of swoops a little bit, and it does have a back window in the middle, but it looks like a hard top, but the top is not just straight across flat, it kind of has a little bow to it. So that's, and it's all green um, with, and of course it would have the antenna, but with uh, blotches of camouflage, uh, kind of a beige white on it. And, and you can Google that picture. Uh, yeah, and just, you know what you do is just go to the Google and put in Jimson number 115 Hong Kong toy, and, and you'll, you'll get pictures of these. And uh, so, um, I would like to get the Army one just to say, you know, we got all of them. But like I say, uh, when I did this video for this one, was kind of one of the first times I was talking about uh, my goal of having uh, a Guinness Book of World Records. And I, I mentioned this every once in a while, but I'm going to mention it again. I'm I would love to have a Guinness Book Guinness Book of World Records of having a Land Rover toy from every manufacturer that made a Land Rover toy. Um, you know, so that's kind of uh, a goal of mine. That's why I bought this one other than um, I love the, the plastic stuff. Um, this one's kind of freewheeling. It is supposed to have that uh, friction motor in there, but uh, see, this one actually does work. Yeah, brr, listen to that, huh? So yeah, so there you go. That's uh, kind of what we're looking at here is uh, this uh, gypsum, gypsum, gymson. I, I'm sure that there's a dialect uh, thing there. Gymson, uh, number 115. So yeah, happy one of Wednesday. Thanks a lot for Gary for uh, completing now this uh, kind of a set. Uh, just need to look out for three. Hey, come on over to Facebook and uh, show me your army one. <laughs> I know somebody's got one. Uh, make sure you're subscribing and giving me a big thumbs up, even though it's not on the screen. But yeah, come on over to Facebook. I want to see these guys in the package. I want to see them complete. I'd, I'd love to see the army one. 
All right, that's it. I'm your friend Dano, and I'm out of here. And remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.